Hello, this is Ishmael Zadi and welcome to my Java and MySQL uh, tutorials. Um, I'm starting a new series um, with MySQL. We're going to be looking at writing, reading, all that like your stuff. Um, if you do not know anything about MySQL, I will be covering some of the basics. Um, however, I will be using MySQL with Java, so I wouldn't be, you know, around if you've seen this PHP my admin and yeah so I will be using this um, you know for saying examples blah 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 but um, I'm going to be mainly using Java okay so if you're familiar with this stuff so you're in the right place <laughs> okay <laughs> alright so first thing we want to do is we want to establish a connection with um, with our driver for our database so what we're going to do is I'm going to create a method here, public static void, let's call it connection. Alright, and we want to get a connection. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so let's go class dot for name. Okay, what we want to do is go com dot, I'm going to explain it in a second, com dot mysql dot j dbc dot driver we want to get the driver so we can get a connection all right and it's given us an error because it wants us to surround it with try and catch and yeah so we need this connection in order it enables java um, to get access to you know the mysql database okay so to test this if it works worked all right let's go like that well, actually i didn't <laughs> amateur okay let's run that quick worked okay however some of you guys will will be getting errors for this because you didn't have this driver um, by default unless you installed it um, Oracle actually or MySQL they provide a jar file for this um, they have this long procedure of going online and filling up these forms to get it so I will be providing it in the link and when you do that what you want to do is actually that doesn't help um, you want to right click your project or you drag and drop you can drag and drop the jar file which is here I have it here and you just right click it and then you go to build path and here it says remove from build path but in your case it would say add to build path okay so that's the error removed now we want to gain access to our database okay so let me show you guys here this, these are database names. Um, I didn't create these; these are by default created. So I'm going to try access the test database. Okay, we're not going to be uh, manipulating, you know, um, data or whatever. Um, I want to keep it short, and then the next episode I will, um, you know, start with that stuff. Okay, so now let's go public static void. Um, let's say uh, connection to MySQL okay and first thing we want to do is get because when we're using PHP my admin I'm using my local host so you need to um, get your correct uh, host um, let's say URL and um, and what 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 you need else is a username and a password so enough talking Ishmael just type it down <laughs> alright so string I'm gonna call this host equals we're going to go mysql actually sorry it's jdbc colon mysql colon forward slash this is going to be the url local host okay and what we're going to put after after the forward slash is going to be our database name so um, i want to access let's say test so you go test okay um, some of you might get errors, so you need to um, put the the lo the port number. But in most cases, you don't need to unless you're using a, a server. Um, string. Well, this is going to be our username. Username equals default one is going to be root. Okay. And string password. We're going to leave that empty. Okay. Next, what you want to do is get the access to connection. Actually, I forgot one more thing. I need to go connection. Okay, and we want to access the database. So we go connection, 
and let's say connect equals driver control space driver manager dot get connection and we want to select the one with the the three parameters uh, URL user and password just for shortcut you know lazy okay so pass user and password what's wrong oh yeah I didn't call my one user so obviously it's gonna give an error so username and we get an error control shift O we want to import the one with the SQL not the JDB uh, JDBC okay so click on that finish all right then it's gonna give us an error because we're gonna try and establish the connection and let's see if it works let's see if it works um, let's delete that one and let's call it in here let's say connection to MySQL all right let's see if it works yay it works with a sad face <laughs> to change that. Yeah, so that's it for this tutorial. You learned that you can establish a connection between um, you know, um, Eclipse and MySQL and MySQL to your actual database um, in your local host or whatever you're trying to access it from. If you do have trouble, please leave a comment in the section below or message me. And thanks a lot guys and stay in tune.